Hey men, we're back and we are talking about zinc today. And I really love this topic because this is one of the most simplest things you can do to naturally boost your testosterone levels. Now it's believed that there are 2 billion people on this planet that have a zinc deficiency. Now this is mind boggling when we consider everything that zinc does in the body. For one, it boosts testosterone levels and that's why we're looking at it. But it also is one of three major components of sperm. So those who are dealing with infertility or low sperm counts, this is something you would definitely want to look into. Also anyone that has prostate issues or inflammation, this is linked to low zinc levels. Another awesome thing zinc does in the body, it is a powerful aromatase inhibitor. This means that it will block the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, which most guys definitely don't want to be happening. We want to keep our uh, estrogen relatively low and get that uh, testosterone level is pretty much as high as we can get it. So let's talk about a few more benefits of zinc. Now beyond helping boost a male reproductive system immensely, zinc has many other functions in the body. And I just want to highlight two other things it really helps with a lot. Number one, it helps with brain health big time. There is a book entitled um, uh, Nutrient Power, Heal Your Biochemistry and Heal Your Brain by um, William Walsh, PhD. Now, Dr. Walsh is the head of the Walsh Institute, which specializes using nutrition to overcome neurological issues. And there's specialized testing one can do to uh, find out different deficiencies and stuff like that. He's also the director of uh, the Great Plains Laboratory, which I use a lot of their labs to determine different things. Anyways, what he uh, um, recommends and what in uh, seeing over 30,000 testing different people um, of all sorts of um, mental issues and neurological issues from autism to Alzheimer's and everything in between um, he's discovered that a lot of people with any sort of neurological issue have major zinc deficiencies and some even have an issue a pyrrhal disorder where it's a genetic issue where it will deplete their zinc from their bodies even though they may be taking zinc they may be actually it may be binding and removing from their body they may need special zinc supplementation and even in extreme cases uh, where people have pyrrhal disorders within um, a number of like 60 days you can correct a lot of these different things just by uh, supplementing and eating the right types of foods another thing that zinc helps with immensely is the immune system. Matter of fact, there was a study that is going to be, I believe, published next month in December um, about how zinc is somewhat like the new vitamin D, but it also helps the immune system um, not age as quickly. So it does a lot of stuff with the immune system. And it's been known for a long time that if one has the common cold just by doing short term dosing of 75 milligrams is very effective in getting rid of the common cold. So zinc is immensely important in multiple systems in the body and I had to actually mention just a few of them. So if you know anyone dealing with any neurological issue whatsoever, autism, um, Alzheimer's, dementia, you name it, ADHD, um, zinc is heavily involved in those, it's involved in gut health and like I said the immune system health which the gut actually your immune system lives in the gut so there is the connection there. But um, in uh, some common sources you can find zinc is beef, lamb, herring, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, cheese, uh, wheat, wheat germ, and uh, maple syrup. Also uh, some people if they test um, whether it be blood or hair, if they find out they're not in the optimal range, you may need a supplement as well. I should mention one other thing with regards to zinc. Even if you are doing supplementation, one aspect of being able to assimilate it is you need to get your pH in your stomach down low enough. So if you're having issues, say if you have an H. pylori bacterial infection, your pH may not be getting where it needs to and you won't be able to break down. Uh, zinc. So there may be some other things that need to be done as well. So if you need more information on uh, specific testing for zinc levels or hormone levels, check out the link below.